What is up guys, and today I'll be reviewing the GAN 356X. Back to the puzzle, the 356 comes in at 56 millimeters and weighs 81 grams. It also costs $62 and comes in black and stickless. So the 356X comes with some new features, one of which being the numerical IPG or the GES Plus, where you take out the center cap and you can change the tension of each knot to the three main options or the fourth one I think which is just taken out so it comes in 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and 1.0 um, I can't obviously do this because I had the IPG V5 I didn't really think the extra 5 or 10 dollars was worth worth it for the numerical IPG so I just got it with the IPG V5 as I believe there's also more options with it as you can just get any single tension the second thing that I got was the GMS. This is a magnet design where all you do is you pick out one of your magnets and with your cube you just push down on where the magnet is and you change it. And now, now we have a yellow capsule in there, magnet capsule in there. So that's pretty cool and changing it is real quick as like just doing one right now would be like done literally also try to make sure they don't go flying because you don't want to lose them so for magnets we've also got four options on the left we have the strongest options um, the yellow ones are the medium options and the green ones are the light options and the final ones on the right are a null set if you want your cube to be non-magnetic. So the X has many design features similar to the 354M, but getting into the turning, we can see here that it is very, very buttery smooth. And the sound is also quite quiet compared to other cubes, which have been very loud compared to this like the SM used to be the quietest cube of the time and then now there's this which is really quiet so this feels really similar to the 354M just a lot more smooth and buttery and the larger size um, makes it easier for some people to use it is also more stable and a tad bit slower but not when I say slower I don't mean slow where you can't control it but a good speed for me people to control. As we can see, um, people, many people have started to switch to this cube and it's become many people's mains, including Felix Zemdegs, Max Park, some of the, the Vaya brothers and uh, Leo Boromir. Alrighty guys, now I'll just leave you guys with some solves and my own personal opinion on the cube. So personally, I've set mine up with um, Lubical Silk, I have the uh, Clear GES, no, clear GMS and the yellow GES. Um, personally, I feel like these are the best ones because uh, I like the tighter options. I think with the green GES, the cube becomes really fast and unstable, and you don't exactly like you mess up quite often. Um, yeah, that's what I really think the cube. Personally, I really like it. I think that the Bari Smith feel really benefits me and the quietness is also really good for me because I don't like loud cubes like the GTS 3M and uh, I also think the standard 356mm uh, size is better than the 54mm size because I don't exactly have small hands and I think that's why it benefits me. This cube is now my main, by the way, um, for those of you wondering, 
it might not be the main for all of you and I don't know if you guys would definitely really think this cube is so good that you should go out and spend um, $60 Oh, I messed that up Wow, 38 times in a row. Yeah, I also feel like sometimes um, algorithms um, do lose flow on this sometimes. Uh, I think JR Cuba touched on this tad bit. That, like, he couldn't do 8 times or other algorithms. Exactly amazing on this. But I feel like it's not exactly a huge problem that it will, like, stop you from solving well or anything. You'll probably still be able to solve well. But yeah, I main this cube now over my 356 RSM. I feel like, um, I just like the smooth feel of it. It's more satisfying to turn. My 356 RSM is also kind of dead now, so it kind of makes sense for me to switch. I've had that for about one and a half years. So yeah. So I hope you guys liked the review, um, hope it helped you guys out, I know it's kind of late since the 356 is probably getting kind of old now, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, bye.